Hello everybody, welcome to Leet Wine TV. I am your host Mark Fusco and uh, got another wine review for today. So what we're going to do, we're going to do Granacha de Fuego 2007. Got this at World Market for $6.99 and uh, doing this wine in kind of honor of uh, USA playing Spain today in a uh, little, little soccer competition today. Uh, and and then I'm also wearing the Italy <laughs> soccer jersey. It's the only soccer jersey I got. Um, me being Italian, I figured I'd wear that. Um, anyway, uh, and I'm not hoping that Spain wins the soccer match. I'm hoping USA wins. But, you know, we, we got this wine, and uh, really, uh, it was got because of the label. It's kind of neat. Uh, and uh, Granacha is the Spanish version of uh, the word Grenache. Or, I'm sorry, Garnacha. It's a Spanish word for Grenache. So uh, let's go ahead and check it out. By the way, this got uh, my research. This particular uh, vintage got an eighty, got an eighty-nine from the Wine Spectator. So uh, let's uh, let's check it out. I definitely get some dark fruit in there. Um, maybe some pepper. Yeah, getting some, I guess I'm getting some pepper component. Um, feeling a little bit of the alcohol, it's 14%. Feeling a little alcohol in the nose. But uh, yeah, so I'm getting dark fruits and, and, and some pepper. So um, definitely tannins are working the mouth again. Um, you'll see young wine. It's 2007, so um, still pretty young, but it's uh, it's pretty tasty. Got um, definitely getting some heat. Getting getting definitely getting some heat from the alcohol. Getting some of that uh, some more of that dark fruit. I'm definitely getting those, that pepper, like not like like peppers of um, um, like jalapenos or green peppers, but more like just like pepper you put on your food. I'm getting some of that. Um, it's pretty good. I mean, I, I do like it. You know, the dark fruits is still pretty dry. Um, probably really want to pair this with some food. It's not a wine that you're just going to drink by yourself. You want to pair this with, with some meats um, so that the fats and the tannins are interacting. I don't know if I, I don't know. 89 from Spectator. I'm going to go with an 87. Um, excellent wine. I think it's really good. Uh, I think it's definitely better with food. Uh, but I wouldn't go 89 with it, but I, I'd go 87. That's pretty good. Um, so, yeah. I right, so let's go a little more fun facts of what's going on with the wine. I forgot to do the timer. Uh, a couple things. This says old vines on here. Uh, so first of all, old vines. There's no legal. Nobody in the world really has a legal definition of what an old vine is. Now, in the research I did, supposedly these vines are 60 to 80 years old. Now, what does that mean? Well, as wines get as vines get older. Um, they tend to produce smaller crops or smaller yields and what that does is when there's less grapes, physical, physically less grapes or smaller grapes on, on the uh, vine, then it tends to concentrate the, the tends to produce um, 
more concentrated and more intense wines. It's because the juice is concentrated, the sugar is concentrated, there's not as much water in there. So that's, that's why you'll see these producers put old vines because that makes it you know, seem like it's better. And in theory, it should be. Um, and uh, it's the Bodegas Zambrin at, at, I think it's just Bodegas Zambrin. Nah, I gotta find this on here. From, from the research, it was Bodegas Zambrin. Uh, so it's out of Spain. Did I just mention that? Out of Spain, out of the uh, Cata uh, Catalonia area. It's pretty good. Let's get it again. $6.99. It's good value. Trying to figure out what I'm going to have for lunch today so I can drink a little bit of this wine. I think I'm going to go with the old standby, a little salami sandwich. Um, and maybe to bring in that intensity, that, that pepper intensity, use the, the chipotle cheese with that. I think that's what we're going to do for, uh, what I'm going to do for lunch today while watching the soccer match. Um, anyway, uh, friend me up and send me emails. Uh, tell your friends all about it. Get some eyeballs to the site. Uh, thanks for stopping in. We'll have another review again uh, tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by.